Hello, this is part two. Get my butterflies working for my hypercharger. Well, instead of taking a few minutes, it's took me a while. Before I actually, you know, began working on it again and try to set up, I went and did some research on the internet. I downloaded a online uh, service manual for my bike. And then after that, I went to shadowriders.net. It's a shadow spirit forum. And uh, I had two, three guys there to help me get started and uh, figure out the bugs and what I need to do. So anyway, I'm gonna show you what I did and how I got it set up now. Okay, uh, first of all, this is my manual. And if you noticed, or my online service manual, some pages I printed off. Let me get this one right over here that I need. This here has been a great help to me. Okay, if you look here, you see this T, and it says to fuel tank, okay? The line that they're talking about is this T line right in here. Because the T's right there on my fingers at. This line goes up, goes to the tank right here. Well, this T right here, well that line goes up and runs it through there. Let's see if I can get it out right here. This is that line. This is the line that I had connected to the back where that line right there is at. Well, evidently it's supposed to go to open air. So I had that set up wrong. So now I'm just going to stuff it back behind here. All right, I looked, looked also in my manual on this page over here. See if I can't find it right quick. Uh. Okay, as you can see, that little solenoid I was telling you about that had the two rear lines that run to the rear cylinder and to the front cylinder here. Okay, that line connects and runs and goes back, connects to a T here. Remember, I only had one T when I first started working on this. So, now I have two T's. You can see, one here and one there. Okay, well, the manual said this T right here connects and that solenoid, this is that line. See if you can see over here. This is that solenoid I was talking about. The front to the rear cylinder to the front cylinder with the breather hose. This is that line that runs to the bottom of the vacuum. It runs down up underneath the frame. It comes out over here. It connects right there to this T. Then it's supposed to have another small one that runs up through here connects to the bottom or to the back of that carburetor on that little port. All right. Then, after I did that, I had this line, had a longer line running right here, and I had it running just straight directly to this port right here. Okay. Then after some thinking, I thought, huh, I'll just take this line, cut it, put a T here, run a short line to this port, then have my regular vacuum line that runs up over here and to the bottom of my hypercharger in this little diaphragm right here. This has got a, a vacuum, this has like a little vacuum thing in there with a rubber seal and it's got a spring and spring tension where you can let it or release to get every how much you need. Okay, I tell you what really helped me out was this here papers that I got online, the online service manual. But uh, I'll show you this. As for these Kuriakin, as for the Kuriakin instructions, well, they're nothing but crap. This caused me nothing but headache. They told me to do it wrong. Uh, the pictures are not even numbered correct. Like this says picture one. Uh, this shows pick one to remove the air cleaner assembly. That don't look like an air cleaner assembly to me. Looks like a carburetor. Uh, they need to do work on their instructions. Because this is what messed me up. But anyway, I'm not worried about it. Because I got these. And I got the guys on the shadow form to help me out. And it's been a great help. I really appreciate it, guys. Uh, anyway, right now what I'm going to do is. I'm going to go over here. 
I'm gonna get my tank. I'm gonna put my tank back on. And uh, I'm gonna hook up my lines. Go to my fuel pit cock. And uh, hook up that line that I said that goes to that little air thing. I don't know if you can see that little nipple down there. But that's where it goes at right there. I'm gonna just I'm not gonna bolt it down. I'm just gonna lay it on top of the tank, connect the thing up. I'm gonna crack my bike up. And I'm gonna see if I can't get my butterflies to work. Uh, anyway, if I don't get it to work this time, I think I might either do some more research, but I about run out of ideas what I can do. More than likely, I'll probably just carry it to the dealership and pay them $60 an hour to see if I can get it fixed. I don't like people doing that. I don't, I don't want to do that. I like working on my own bike and learn from my mistakes. But anyway, uh, let me get this tank back on here and uh, get my line suit back up. And then I'm going to crank it up and see if it works. And we'll see you then.